<laughs> and I never thought of Grand Fury until many years later as an art collective, but as part of that duck. Um, and many of the members of Grand Fury were, at, were getting arrested at the same time that they were producing artwork. And I think that one of the things for me, as someone who had been active before ACTA, was the very specific way in which the visual was an, an integral part of the way that ACTA performed. And that was before Grand Fury, with sounds, using the Silence Equals Death Post from the Silence Equals Death Project. Um, the AIDS gate stuff, you know, all of that stuff, every leaflet looked so unlike the left um, that I came from for a long time, or even from the feminist movement, which always had a lot of words, did not have, you know, really graphic. It was a moment of graphics, the ACT UP moment. And there were so many people in ACT UP besides Grand Fury who had graphic skills. And things were being produced um, that I had never seen produced in many movement groups, no matter how big they got. You know, and you don't see much of it even at Occupy. You see a lot of DIY stuff, but you don't see the same kinds of things. And there was nothing produced in ACT UP that didn't have, people would think, how's this going to look? <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, the banner, what color should it be? How is the light going to reflect off this? Are we going to carry it at night or during the day? You know, what's the background? It's everything. In addition to, like, how are we going to get in that building that we're not supposed to be in, okay? It was all that other stuff. And if you look at something like the gym and Seraphim, you know, the, uh, you know what I mean? You see that people, every action, people had props. And um, and they look good. And the whole point was to look good. So I think that was a very gay part of that. <laughs> but you know, Maxine, that also it was like that's we've noticed this in the workshop we've been doing. It's been really hard to make it evident that yes, it was like it felt like war. It was serious. It was intense. But we had a fantastic time. <laughs> we had so much fun. We were dressed in drag. We had to be different people and yeah. Yeah. different clothing. Yeah. And, you know, get into places, you know, in ball gowns and yeah. tuxedos, and then we would not be in ball gowns. You know, we were <laughs> Republicans. We were not doing anything, you know? No, yeah. it was just, no, it's you know, true. It was all yeah. about visual stuff. And, and it was the first time I had been involved in a movement where people you know, video was really big. People documented everything. And I couldn't believe people were documenting everything. Mm -hmm. So I think that you have to look at also the, the Grand Fury stuff in that context. And when people made leaflets, when Grand Fury made leaflets, okay, 20,000 of them would get created. Not 10, not 5, not 500. People would say, do we need 20,000 or 50,000? <laughs> you know, and we would give them out. So I think that that was a very particular part of that up, and I don't think that people think, and, and I'm Grand Fury, and I don't think that people necessarily say, well, it was the gay part of it, you know. But I see it that way. I think that, that that was a gay sensibility that was brought there, and a particular historic moment of media usage. There was, um, there's, a, there's a book called AIDS Demographic, which is written by Douglas Crimp and Adam Ralston, which shows a lot of the work that was, you know, Grand Fury gets credited for a lot of work that we actually didn't do. I mean, one of my favorite, two of my favorite posters that came out of ACT UP was, one was Know Your Scumbags, <laughs> which had a picture of the New York's Cardinal Cook at the time. And another one, which was done by a friend of mine, which was like, uh, Clean Up Your Dogma, which took the, took the image that they use about, you know, cleaning up after you're picking up after your dog, and, and, and used it for the church, you know. And so, I mean, there's a, there was a lot where, the, where what was happening in ACT UP was sort of there was a democracy of invention, if you will. People were creating stuff all the time, all the time. And Maxine is right. I mean, people had props and costumes and everything else. So that um, so it really was a very sort of rich visual history that that um, Grand Fury was part of. Yeah, that goes back to my, we were just a cog in this whole Absolutely. wheel of development.